What up, y'all? It's Mel and Keisha. Back with another E chat. I'm Mel. I'm Keisha. And this is the Walk in the Fat Woman Shoes. Uh, tonight, as you see, we have a seafood ball. I got a, a ketchup hot sauce and a mustard sauce. I have a garlic butter sauce right here. And here I am premiering Nene Eats Life cilantro lime garlic butter sauce. And I have it in uh, her this her glass um her glass bowl. It is so cute. I know y'all can't see the name or anything on it because of the sauce and everything. And I should have took a picture or whatever. However, my bad. But even so still, I have it in her glass. <coughs> It's so cute. We are drinking. What's the other on. sauce? Oh, I said that. Just a garlic <coughs> butter sauce. A garlic butter sauce. We're and drinking this? on that good old H two O. I'm drinking mine out the coolest water bottle, aka Big Girl. Cause y'all know Big Girl would do what? Nothing. Take you know, face. Big Girl will do what? Save you in a crisis. Yes, she will. Yes, she will. Now to get a Big Girl. Girl, use a lot. Use a lot. Use a lot. How to get a big girl? How to get a big girl, a big swole, or a big baby, or even a male baby? Will be in the description box below. So you go ahead and click that link. Go and get your one. Go to yourself. Go and do it. Go and do it. You ready, baby? Yeah, I'm ready. God is good. God is great. Thank you for the meal about to receive. Bless your holy name. Bless your prayers in the meal. Amen. 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 So what's going on with you guys tonight? Let us know what y'all eating and if y'all eating with us. Also, let us know. What's going on in y'all neck of the woods? How's your weather tree in? What y'all did today? Y'all know I'm nosy. Y'all know I want to know. Let me so, go ahead on in. Set we have up. king crab, dungeness crab, snow crab. We got shrimp. We have smoked sausage. We have bald eggs. Yes. We're going we gonna to try that again. The bald eggs. Uh, yeah. And this is roasted garlic sausage. So, yeah. Yeah. Me need some sausage in this. Go and open. So how are y'all doing? No, it's like in your part of the world. That's cool. <laughs> This is good. It's kind of, <clears throat> it's kind of spicy, but it's good. Mm. It's pretty decent. It's not blow your head off spicy or anything like that. But it's a, little, it's a little spicy. Not nothing too many. Let me get this out. It's gonna be sure. I guess this be like our ears and more. Cause like we really don't be talking. Too spicy for you. Mm -mm. No, it it's not too spicy for me. It's pretty, it's good, pretty good. It's that spice to where it's not that type of spice. Well, oh, it's too hot. I can't. I can't keep. I can't eat this. It's that spice like when she be making her um spice for her chickens and stuff, but like it's spicy, but you know you don't want to stop eating it. I can't 
kind of really wonder. I guess you must like it. Why? Because you ain't offer me none. Oh, I'm sorry. You want some, baby? It's okay. My bad. It is good. Whew. I kind of overdid it on the front. So, that's that with that. One more shrimp, and now I'm going to get into the seafood. I mean, the crabs. Woo! This is my first meal of the day, and I'm super hungry. You know, what I realized, I don't care, if, I mean, I don't mind it. I don't really care for meal prep. I don't like to meal prep because I'm not a person that like leftovers. I'm not. Never have been. Not a person that really like leftovers and rest of seafood or chicken. And, well, you know, fried chicken. But, <laughs> me personally, I don't mind doing a uh, meal prep. I just would, I just think I need to make like a certain meal for this day, a certain meal for the next day, you know, however like that. You know, that way I'll be good. Going you know, on. Do this egg thing. Mm. Well, I'll never know. Um, I'm wrong. Just saying. I'm sorry, Bill. Don't get the phone. Oh, thank you. You're too kind. You're I, such I, a benevolent person. Fella, you already know. Mm -hmm. You know I Hmm. Good. I like it. All right. Let me go crack this dungeon nest. I was about to say I'm waiting on Everybody Loves Raymond to come on, but I have about 28 of them on my playlist. So, I can just go in there and watch on the gym. Yeah. Okay. It's good <clears throat> in the sense that it's familiar flavors to me. Like when I eat it, it makes me think of 
home, not home, but where my daddy from. That kind of other one make me think of her mouth off. Oh, one, I bought me a big one. It puts me I know in you the, don't like that one. It really does. It reminds me of uh, eating back in the country. Right. But it's too hot for me. Yeah. When I eat that, I automatically thought of my grandma's pork chops. Really? Mm-hmm. And then when that heat kicked in, I was like, yeah, this them people all right. <laughs> Like, if I take that and pray and fry some pork chops in it, mm -hmm. my uncle, like Chuck, would be like, yeah, that's home. Right. It tastes just like it. Yeah. I don't know what herbs or whatever she used. But it's familiar. Yeah. That's how I felt when I first tasted her, um, her mouth sauce. Her first sauce she put out. Never yes. had it. I did some. It just made me think of home. You selfishly ate that too and didn't give me not a drop. What else did I selfishly eat? The original sauce. I this is like your third order. I need this the sauce. Is my order. And this is my first time ever tasting either one of those sauces. This is my fifth order. Okay. Fifth. Her and um Kid on this nuts, they ran the race. This sauce is so good. Well, I guess we're gonna be doing this without uh paper towels. But it's okay. It's alright. <coughs> That's what we have. What happened to the towel you had? It's right there. I don't want to mess my towel up. I don't want to mess my towel up. This with this bowl came the uh Nene Eats water bottle. No, no, you can't say that like that. You, no, I can. So, you get a bowl and a water bottle with every order. Oh, no, no, see, no, that's no, what no, I'm no, saying. No. no, so you have to emphasize. I'm supposed to take a picture of this.
Texas has been getting a lot of rain lately. Yeah. It's about to rain tonight, huh? I wonder if it even gonna rain, cause it didn't rain, uh, it didn't rain when it was supposed to rain uh, today, but you know, this is God's. I don't know, Keisha. It's God's weather, I don't know. Well, about the rain? About this crap. What about it? Mmm. Look This dungeon is. What about it? I don't know. There ain't nothing wrong with mine. Somebody is on my back. Hmm? Not trying to scare you, but somebody's behind me. Right now? They're behind me. <clears throat> what they doing to you? They're not doing me nothing. But I know they do. Did you feel it? Yeah. No, I'm not crazy. It's like they hand on my back. You know how you touch somebody? Yeah. See, I know that it's it's because all the rest of my body is warm. But that particular part of your body is cold. Right. And I don't have my heater in here. Nope. Cold like a mug. Like Excuse me, get the back up a little. Right. No, I don't need you to go get my heater. I already cut it off. What? Wow. Don't heat. Right. Uh -uh. Cut it off. We cut that off, and it's on the heat. Yeah. Cut it by damn. No wonder I feel so good and warm. Mm.
Boy, it just get Jesus on me, man. Now, I look. I heard something. Man, big boy. I heard something, and when I looked over, his head peeped up like that. Like, mm -mm, mm -mm, don't be doing me stuff like that. <coughs> what you called him? Uh uh. I ain't calling him until after he scared me. I don't know. I was feeling toasty good. <coughs> It's a wrap. No wonder I'm so warm and whatnot. Ready to go to sleep? <laughs> Can't not go quite, to sleep. Not quite go to sleep warm, but I'm comfortable. Yeah. I'm really warm. Are you saying warm like sick warm? No. I don't think so. But it feel like my heat is on. Um, but it ain't, ain't even right. Ain't. Right. Like somebody or something know that I be cold and my heat will be under the table. Because bitch is really warm under there to me. And my heater has been with me in the back all day. Yeah. We're going to have to. But ain't nothing under the table but under the table. We're going to have to work. I don't know. Maybe do a seance or something. No, we don't. No, we don't. I know, because then they make all the unwanted people and whatnot be coming. Yeah, I don't need no unwanted spirits in my house. The spirits that are in our house is wanted. No, we no, no, need, no. Well, you don't know that. Well, I mean, you can't say that. Yeah. Well, you're right. Because we had, uh, we had no spirits in here since we moved in here. No, we've had spirits. Well, yeah. You can't say they didn't come with us. Yeah. Yeah, because when Alonzo was little, Alonzo used to talk to Marie and who was the other one? Roger. Like, who is Marie, baby? Who is Marie? And the only, I've never heard anybody ever call say that name to anybody but her mom, you know, Mari, you know. And I'm like, where do you get that name from? He said, my friend that I be playing with. I'm like, you playing with somebody named Mari? I think you show her name Marie? They're like, no, it's Mari. I'm like, I say, bitch, that might be your mama he talking to. 
And he told her, he, he told Mel something. And I think she was like, yeah, but that's my mom. I'm like, how you know? Like, how he know, you know? I know when I'm with my mom. Hold on. And we don't know nothing about Roger or where he come from. And you say it's my mama. But I really think it's my grandma. Yeah. Because they call my grandma Mari. Well, you know her, my mama got the same name. But I'm serious. But my great aunts. Mm hmm And stuff like that. Uh-huh. I believe they used to call my mama Marie. Okay. So, if they call her Marie, but when they talking to my grandma, they call her Marie. Yeah. Since I started using LED light bulbs, we've had flickering. Yeah. No, not from the very beginning, but maybe um, some months, we had flickering. And I never thought it was somebody trying to communicate with me because science can explain the flickering light bulb. The flickering LED light bulb. Yeah. And uh, so when I really realized it was somebody trying to get in touch with me, I said, if you're trying to get in touch with me, you know me. I can't go no more. You know me. You know the type of person I am. And if it can be explained away by science, this is not the way to get in touch with me. Right. The lights stop flickering. I believe in the spirit world, but if it can Man. be explained away by science, I have to listen to reason. And they say that uh, flickering light bulbs, flickering LEDs, they flicker when there's oh, too much know. on the load. And so, so once I learned that, I was like, oh, okay. But the lights kept flickering. So I was like, if you try and get in touch with me, 
You gotta come another week. Not me. When I said, bro, is that you? Stop playing with me. Them lights went, tick, tick, tick. they flicker, but they flicker like this. When I say, bro, Bubba, is that you? They went, tick, tick, tick. I say, please stop. You know I'm scared. Please don't do that to me. They stop. The next thing I heard is our favorite thing that we always say. You know, so, but that popped in my head. And I'm like, the hell? I was scared, and I'm in the room by myself. And she left me in the room by myself. You saying it? <coughs> I think I was listening to Eric Renee. And all of a sudden, I heard a message. And I felt, I felt the hug. I really did. And it started to make me cry. I was like, wow. <coughs> yeah. It didn't scare me. It didn't upset me. After, wait, was that after you said this is not the way to communicate with me? No, that was before. Okay. That was before. Because somebody oh, has always been communicating me. with me since we lived, moved here. You know, someone has been constantly trying to be communicate with me, but I don't know who it is. I don't know. <coughs> I always say, it's my mama or my grandma. But I have so many loved ones on the other side. That you just don't know who it is. Right. That's how I feel. And that I was close to it. <coughs> I just be wanting to believe that it's this particular person or that particular person. Even though I feel the same way she feel, I just want to believe that it's this particular person. You know, or that particular person, you know. Just like just now, you heard what I said? What picture popped in my head? My grandpa truck. That's so it could be. See, I'm that's what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. That's what I was saying about me with the the that you you know, I'm scary, don't don't do that to me, you know. And I and little thing we always see popped in I my head. I don't want if you're going to come to me, come to me in a dream. Right, because they say, me. if they come to you and you can see them clear as day and talking to you, mm -hmm. you're about to die. So I don't want that. No, who are you telling? I don't need them. Who said that? Remember I was telling you <coughs> about to stay away from them days. <coughs> Remember, I was telling you about surviving death mm -hmm. in the series I was watching. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Remember after I saw it months ago, mm -hmm. I came to you and said, Krista knew she was dying. <coughs> right, you did. <coughs> <coughs> And if she didn't know, <coughs> she was telling me clues. Telling you clues, right? Yeah. It's like she was sending me clues of it. Yeah. But at the time, I knew something was up with my friend. But I didn't know she was dying. Right. That was a shock. That was a real shock. Because she was like, man. And that was, I think, the last conversation I had with her. She was like, 
Man, I saw my brother today. And me and my brother was talking. And and when she said that, I'm already like, when she said she saw her brother, I'm already like, whoa. Because her brother's been dead for 10 years. So when she said that, I was like, oh, okay. And she was like, I was like, you know, me being the silly motherfucker I am. Right. Did he answer you back? And she was like, yeah. I was like. Bitch, I was, I was just playing. I ain't mean. Right. I ain't really think you was going to say that. I thought you were going to say, bitch, stop playing, you know. And when she told me that, I was like, you know, I knew something wasn't up. But I didn't know that. The closest ones to you come to get you. Well, I knew that, but I didn't think it started out with days of conversation and stuff. Because she she was like, he came to her, and he was like, how mama doing, and all that stuff, and whatever, whatever. But she didn't tell me the whole conversation. You know, he started asking about these specific people and whatever, whatever. And I was like, your brother asked about me. I was like, no, don't let him ask about me. Right. And um, I was like, wow. But I didn't put two and two together, you know. She's literally talking to dead people. I didn't put it that she was on her way out. So, if you know anybody, and they are literally talking to someone, if they're not, if they're in physical help, and if they if they're in physical help, and they start talking to somebody, and like they tell you they're talking to them in person, you know what? Watch surviving debt on Netflix, they can tell you, explain it better than I can. But, uh, <coughs> when the living see the dead, see them, see them, and they talking to them, it's not a good sign. That person on their way out. I was like, wow. I wish we did this video in the morning. I really do, because she scared the shit out of me, and she ain't gonna stop, but I'm just saying, she scared the fucking shit out of me, for real. I mean, it, it's not that I'm afraid of death, it's, the, it's how I'm gonna die, and you can't be afraid of that. Not death itself, it's just how. You know when you, when I be sitting there and I be, you know like that, I, uh, do you know when I choke, I don't panic anymore? Yeah, I know she does. Are you trying to tell me something? No, I'm just saying. I don't fear it anymore. I know it's a part of life and <clears throat> it's going to happen. I have not had any visitors physically. Well, no. I have not had any visitors who have come to me and told me anything or had a conversation with me. Like right now, my back not cold. I'm still warm, though, but my back is not cold. It's cold. And uh, <clears throat> I'm finished. I'm scaring my woman. I don't want to be all up under me. Because laying up under this girl, like laying by the furnace, man. Talk about hunk of hunk of burning love. She really be a hunk of hunk of burning love. That girl, I, she be, you know, body temperature 90, whatever, whatever. 
But when I get up under her, I have to check her body temperature because she be that hot. I be like, bitch, you got to have like a fever that. or something. You just hot. And don't be nothing wrong. She's just really hot. She don't believe it, but she is. I'm hot bloody. I know that. Because Alonzo be like that. Y'all both be like that. Well, I can't lay out the nanny because the nanny be too hot. I see it. Like, it's like nanny got a comfort on. What? What I said just went over Wait, your head. Wait, I didn't even hear what you said. Don't worry about it, bitch. Say it. Come on, bitch. Say it. Now this is going to be in my head all night because I, I don't know what you said. And then now you're not going to say it, bitch. Say it. Say what? What you said and it went over my head. I said she's really hot. Yeah, I mean, I know I'm hot. You know, I know I'm hot like that, you know. You but I am hell. hot, you know. I'm hot both ways. I'm hot. You're supposed to pick it up then. I know. I'm hot like I am, you know. So Damn, yeah. you got to repeat and rewind for this mother. So what? So what? I didn't get it. Dense. Is hell. To and all eat. we had was for, I couldn't even eat it. When you're choking. Right. Yeah, you look. about to eat the snow crab now? I'm going to just eat one. It's not that I'm full that I'm not eating. Excuse well, me. I'm full because I think if I eat something else, just put it like this, it's not going to be no good situation. You know, it ain't going to be no good situation. Now I got to go watch cartoons all night thanks to this girl. Why are they still in here? Yeah, but they don't bother me. They don't bother, they don't mess with me or nothing. Don't not do I be feeling either. like somebody watching us when we sleep at night? Of course I do. I always feel like somebody's watching us when we sleep at night. You know, but not in no bad way. You know, like like protecting us. And I just chalked that up as that's God, you know. That's God watching and protecting us as we sleep, you know. Even when, you know, I don't sleep at night because I really don't sleep at night. But when I do sleep, that's how I feel, you know. And when I'm up at night, or oh, I'm watching stuff that's going to make me laugh, you know. You know, they say you all what you eat, you all what you watch. I am a chicken eating comedy watching up. You hear me? Guess I am. Because I, I don't do well with scary. Scary stuff, sinister stuff. She was telling me, we got into an argument the other night. Because I woke her up with something I was watching. And I didn't, you know, and we was talking about it in our video the other day when I was talking about how she be crying and everything, but when, but when I thought about it, I had to apologize. And like a woman, if I'm wrong, I apologize. I had to apologize to her because she said, I don't like commercials, especially when I'm asleep. Cause you know, between September and what? November. September and November, they be playing them sinister ass, uh, that music. And I'm like, you tripping, you be, you with all that, right? So, I go to sleep. I get up, and they got something. The music scary is Sparfic Nugent. And the, uh, and the man, I don't know, he was, I think it was Halloween. But it was the way the music was playing and everything. I got up to go to the bedroom, I'm like, bloop, bloop, cut that, cut that off right quick. I put that on some King of the Hill, you hear me? King of the Hill. I wasn't playing. And when I woke, you know, when I got up, I had to apologize to her because I'm like, you know, I didn't, I thought she was just, you know, just messing with me because, you know, you don't want to see me watching this or watching that. But come to find out, she wasn't lying, you know. I know she wasn't lying. I just, 
You didn't care how I, I'm I me. felt. I'm, I, I'm me. I'm a dick. I ain't no. You just didn't care I'm how a dick. I felt. You know, she's a yike. I'm a dick. You know, and I ain't gonna lie. I know I'm a dick, and I just let's dick. go slow. Honestly, I didn't. No, I didn't. Repeat. I didn't really care how you felt. It was just I wanted what I wanted to watch. I wanted to watch what I wanted to watch. I ain't care what you were saying. This is that and the other. I'm like, you know, I'm like that. You know, in my mind, but you know, in and, your mind, in my mind, you were happy for the day well, all that. I ain't do all this. I ain't do that one. You might as yeah. well applesauce. <laughs> You might as well. But, uh, yeah, I was, you know, I was just, I'm like, you always gonna tell somebody what the why they can't why didn't you know? I'm like, and I'm like, that's fucked up. That was fucked up, especially when I realized, you know, that she was like, you know, this is not the type of shit I wanna hear when I'm waking up. <coughs> but we we have a playlist of King of the Hill, and we watch King of the Hill at night because those commercials. Are already locked in. You hear me? From they, Christmas, right? From Christmas, like two, three years ago. So, and yes, we do keep stuff on our playlist that long. Yes, we do, cause we had uh something. What that? It was a movie with uh when call uh, me close. Yeah, call me close. We had that on there for three, four years. But anyway, you know that watching King of the Hill, like I said, those. Commercials are locked in. You ain't getting nothing sinister, nothing scary, nothing about no this, this, this one killing that one. You ain't getting none of that. You know, you know. If anything, the worst thing you gonna get on there is the guy co, uh, the little lizard on the guy co commercial. No, you know, no. I'm Jen Adler. Oh, Jen Adler, the Texas Hammer. You know, <laughs> that, that's about the worst. You know, commercial you gonna get that commercial you know. work on my and it's not it's not that it's a bad commercial. It's just it's, it's like if you have the TV low for some reason that particular thing is a lot. That particular commercial is loud. Right. You can have your TV. You can have your TV on twelve. I promise you. And twelve is low. If you have your TV on twelve, you know how low it is. You have that TV on twelve by the time <coughs> the Texas Hammer come on up. I'm Jim Allen, the Texas Hammer. I'm like, what the hell? <laughs> I know I cut this down. And when I go to kill it, it's on, it's on top. I'm like, what the hell? And, you know, she be like, because, bitch, some of them commercials, they be loud as hell. I'm like, Psh. But like I said, you know, I, I, I had to apologize because that kind of stuff, you know, I saw that I almost, I almost wanted to piss on myself. I ain't even going to lie. I wanted to stay in that bay, you know, just like, <coughs> my feet back in the bed. <coughs> and lay, lay back down. You know. But I was able to get the controller. Like right there. I was able to be able to snap the controller. And just do it like that. I'm like Cause this is ridiculous. You know. But she have a method. Like if we not watching King of the Hill. She put it on. Um. Uh, what that is like HBO stuff pay like channels that. pay channels and I and, and I go down to see what's coming on next yeah that way that way it's just straight no commercial no chaser you know stuff like that you know and but mine is just throwing on King of the Hill you know I can't put it on my uh uh King of Queens or even my Everybody Loves Raymond because even in those commercials. They got sinister shit, you know, because Halloween, you know. I'm like, look, it is what it is. <coughs> you know, I'ma just leave that long. So King of the Hill is our best bet. King of the Hill and the Pay Challenge. Best bet. So yo, you finished? Yeah. I, I was talking while you ate. But anyway. I'm finishing. Oh, okay. But well, anyway, y'all, we finished. We hope y'all enjoyed this video. We love y'all, y'all. Take care. Be blessed. Have a wonderful, wonderful week. Thank you for coming and watching and rocking with us. Until next time, we're going to plant you down <coughs> and get you later. Because I know y'all can pick up what we up with now. Peace. Peace, guys.